it is here. That's my ball. Hey guys, I'm bringing you my pause. I'm bringing you my Sony Vegas 12 render settings that can be used in Vegas 10 and 11. The last time I recorded this, I didn't use Disable Resample, and I feel like a tip because it's probably one of the most important things. Read hard. Yes. So, first thing that you are going to want to do is stop playing, import the clip, which I've just somehow restored. Well, import. You are. Bring the clip in, looks shite. Yeah. Right, clip. There's no colour correction, you can do that in After Effects, so if you want to use colour correction then just put in colour curves a wee bit of that. Experiment. But, this is my render settings tutorial. Every time I render a clip, I crop it in so that it doesn't have any black lines on the outside when you're uploading to YouTube. Just save that as a default, I've saved it as the HTPVR for the, the, the hop hog thing. Hopage. Hopog. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, next thing, in Vegas 12 you are going to put the effect on sharpen, default, but you're, you want to bring it down to about 0.06. That gives it a good wee sharpen, it clears it up a bit. Um, then, well, in Vegas 10, I don't know about 11, but in Vegas 10, it's reset to none. You just reset the, the quality to none, like the, the the sharpen, and somehow it sharpens it, even though it's reset to no sharpen. I don't get it, but it does it. Next thing, you right click the clip. Everyone needs to do this, please. If you don't do it, it, it just looks horrible. I, I, I get sent clips to edit. And I'm not, I'm not slant, I'm not slanting the guy. It's like really, it's really hard to edit them, just because they aren't. Um, what do you call? It? I'm, not, I'm sorry, Bleak. I'm using you as an example, but I've only got these just here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't, you know, I'm not a bad person. Oh, that's a div explorer. Um, but when you spin or move, it double shows. It doesn't blend, and it's it's not rendered clean. So. Here when it goes to spin, right, there's two, it's ghosting what it's called, you've got the actual image and then what's got to happen comes up 50% opacity in the next the frame, so that gets quite annoying for editors when you try to use Twixter and it does that, it's really bad, so don't, please use Disable Resample in Vegas 12, how we get Vegas 12, it's quite self-explanatory, YouTuber, how to get, etc, free, disclaimer, legal, I don't, I, I pay for it, I've paid for it. Um, Next thing that you're going to want to do is, oh I've already sharpened it, if you want to add colour correction you just put a wee bit of colour curves on it, I've already got presets, whatever you want, just a wee bit of curves on it, make it look nicer, make it brighter, and then go to file, render as, HTPVR, I've already got my presets so you make your preset whatever you want, uh, you go to main concept AVC, AAC, MP4, and find I suppose you make a preset, so you go to your preset, you customise the template and make it width 12a by 720 here, include the video obviously, I love uh, source to adjust frame rate profiles main, frame rate is not that 59.94, save the preset I love source to adjust frame rate um, field order and progressive scan. I'm just saying this out in case you can't read it. If you if you can't read it, just put it full screen and mute my voice. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> um, field order and non-progressive scan. Um, number of reference frames two. Use D blocking filter. Take that. Variable bit rate. Take that. Don't use constant bit rate. I don't know why, but it's better. Two pass. That's really important. It renders it twice. Makes a better quality. Um, maximum bit rate and well, bit, bit, bits bits per second. That's the sample it takes. So twenty million a second, for, like bits. So that makes the quality good. But it increases the file size. So if you have a bad connection, just lower it down. Not as far as two million. <laughs> don't, don't. Render using CPU only. CPU only. That's just the that's just the processor. But if you want to use 
other things to free up the processor you can, but I don't think. I don't know what they are, I'll look them up, see what they are. Um, I've not ticked that, but that's not in Vegas 10. Um, basically, you can transfer these settings over to Vegas 10, they're the exact same settings to use. Um, audio is 48,000, 40, sample rate, bit rate is 128,000. Systems MP4, projects best. Kushte. I think that's it. Save the template, whatever you want, up here. Um, save it, whatever you called. Tut for subscribing. And then render. Make sure you render lip region only if you've got to render certain bits. Because sometimes if you don't, it renders a black screen. That's annoying when you go to upload something. <laughs> Happened to someone, who was it? Tame. Not Tame Unit, the other one. They uploaded a video and obviously they've rendered everything after the, t the commentary or something. So you don't want that because people laugh at you. But that that um, concludes my Sony Vegas Pro 12, 10 and 11 render settings for you guys. And obviously everybody else that watches it that don't subscribe. But subscribe, please. Make my life a lot, lot, a lot, lot happier. And like. Below. Why don't you comment for the next tutorial? Love you guys. Peace out. Oh, sure. Peace out.